How beautiful. Yeah, breathtaking.
those military academy students. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Oh well. It looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. Okay, let's get this mission started! Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. Such an idiot. What am I even doing?
Elisa? Oh, Lane. Well, what are you doing out here? Did you eat too much? My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some... <laughs> Sorry about that. See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa. Look up at the sky. Huh? You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know, if you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? You're right. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford group even bigger. She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh. She did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Reinford group. What you saw in Ruhr Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford group finally went too far. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia's still fighting with Calvert over Crossbell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossbell's state. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. I couldn't agree more, and neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. What? She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Everyone from Ruhr's ruling Lord Marquis Rogner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman and my mother wasted no time taking his place. That's 
when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. And me. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but she just did whatever my mother told her to do. It's been five years since then already. Oh. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. Yeah. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always supported me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It really drove it home to me. How big the Reinford group was now. And how small I was. I hated realizing it had become so large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. <laughs> Even when I ran, I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow or the Reinford name. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated, wondering what I'd been doing all this time. But it's kind of strange, you know? I look up at the stars and it feels like I can escape the gravity of everything. I think I'm finally starting to understand. Why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place. <laughs> you really are strong, Elisa. Stronger than you realize. You were finally ready to talk about it. About your family and the company and everything. So, maybe you've found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> maybe you're right. But I don't think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the Academy. Meeting everyone in Class 7, the lacrosse club, you... I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. So, thanks. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. <laughs> Anytime. Though, truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well, there's always next time. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong. Because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader. Someone we can count on to keep us on track. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still, I feel like I've got a long way to go. Especially when I keep running from myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself. But sometimes... I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away from my family, from myself. Oh. Do you not get along well with your family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. My sister and I, we've had our differences, especially lately, but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Reen. <laughs> Still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. <laughs> All right, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out in my own way. 
Maybe enrolling in Thor's was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in class seven. And now, all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So... Wait, all of us? <coughs> <laughs> you two were gone so long that we started to get a little worried. N no way! How long have you been listening? Still, I suppose the fact that you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? S stop Green! He was the one who said it first! I was just re repeating it back to him! Oh, Lisa, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you touched my heart. I apologize for eavesdropping on you, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did. How did I end up in the middle of this anyway? Fine, if that's how you want to play it. None of you are getting any sleep until you've shared all your most embarrassing secrets. What? I, I, I don't... <laughs> you wish. Seems like you did well. Honestly, I feel like she helped me more than I helped her. Hey, guys? Hmm? This is a really beautiful place. Yeah, ain't it? up in the world <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you keep up the good work
One of the Imperial Army's airships. This situation is looking worse by the minute. We need to hurry. Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army. Damn, this isn't looking good.
Thank you. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all, and more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the Academy too. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, vast mountain peaks, the clear blue of the sky. The breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. Wow. I guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange, to be honest. I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains, and the Imperial Army responded in kind with their launch tower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now, that there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. That one day, it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts. I can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was, green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Lisa? Well, just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed, I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop war from breaking out. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks. Really. Thank you.
can't let them get away! Right. We need to overtake them. Crap! They're fast! Just don't lose sight of them. everything. Now, what to do? It'd be easy enough to overpower them, but there's a good chance some of them would get away. But just killing them all seems really cruel, too. Halt! Stop! Ooh, it's the military academy students! She, she knows about us? How? Just who are you? And what's that thing beside you? So, who are you? Were you involved with the attacks on the Watchtower and the Republican Army's base? We'd rather not accuse you of a crime you didn't commit. But can you at least tell us who you are and what you're doing here? Aww, how did I end up being the bad guy? This is gonna make things a bit sticky. Oh, oh, I know what I can do! Everything will go hunky-dory if you guys help me out. What? What are you talking about? But first, I hope you won't mind if I give you a little test. Sure, you're up to the challenge. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Let's get started! Lammy! Barrier! <laughs> 
Let's do this! Very well. Leave it to me! My turn. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass! Leave, right. Leave it to me! Yeah! Oh, Moon, shield us from harm! Leave it to me. It's my turn. Oh, Grant me your strength! Very well. My turn. It's my turn. Go. Yeah. I'll handle this. My turn. Making progress! Wow! You guys are pretty tough! Yep, looks like you'll be great for the job, all right! <laughs> We've had quite enough of your wild chases and your games. You were the one who attacked both of those military facilities, weren't you? Oh! No, 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 no! That wasn't me! Ugh! What can I say to make you believe me? Just tell us what you can. Anything you know that might help us find out who is actually responsible. You said you wanted our help? If helping you would restore peace to the Highlands, we're ready to help out however we can. But you have to talk to us. Help us understand what's happening. Come on, you two! I hope you don't come to regret your naivete. Uh, you said your name was Milliam, right? We really don't have much time. So could you tell us what it is you want our help with? Hmm... Well, what I want you to help me with is capturing the small armed group responsible for attacking the Watchtower and the Republican Army's base. <sighs> what did you just say? You saw those mortars earlier, right? There's a bunch more hidden near the Republican Army's base. I'm guessing it was the same group that set them up at both locations. W wait Do you have any idea who this armed group might be? Well, I'm not 100% sure or anything, but they look like a bunch of Jaeger dropouts, so I'm guessing they're working for a pretty meaty chunk of Mira. I was on my way to go find out for sure. Wait, then you know where they are? Sure do. They're up in the north of the Highlands. If you promise to help me out, I'd be happy to show you the way. So, how about it? All right, you have our aid. I'm Reen Schwarzer, Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Gaius Schwarzel. I'm Elisa Reinford. It's, um, nice to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yusis Alborea. And just so you know, you still have much to answer for regarding your intrusion into Arok's fort. <laughs> you knew that was us, huh? It'd be 
super cool if we could just, you know, put that whole thing behind us for the time being. If we must. Now, now. <laughs> nice to meet you all, too. Anyway, what are we just hanging around here for? Let's make for the north of the highlands. All right. But I'd like to swing by the settlement first. Yeah. We should use their telephone to report back to Zendergate about everything we found out so far. Okay. Let's get going, then. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be riding on the back of your... thing? Mmm, well I could, but I think I'm gonna ride on the back of your horse instead. Wait, what? Lammy! <laughs> Whoa! It vanished! And the way it did so seems... familiar so... Come on, are we going or not? Let's go catch us some big bad wannabe Jaegers! Squirming around back there, you're gonna fall off. We have the advantage. Here we go. Here I go.
this pace, we might make it in time after all. Not right. We will make it in time. is this way, right? safe now. Turn. 
All right, let's do this. Okay, leave, leave it me. to me. Yes, sir. Shield us from harm. Crescent Shell. All right. My turn! 
Leave it to me. Go! Oh, Lend me your strength. Here we go! Now's our chance! Gaius! Got it! My turn. Leave it to me. Flames, gamble on my... All right. There! Together, we're unbeatable. Great! That should suffice.
So this is the ancient quarry. Crazy to think it dates all the way back to the Neolithic era over a thousand years ago. And that an evil djinn is sealed away here. Well, that's what the legends say. But no one really knows for sure. Uh, and you're sure that armed group you mentioned is hiding in here? It seems likely. Yep, I think they're probably lying low deep down in the quarry. I mean, I know they're here. I saw a bunch of them stream in from the entrance up there about an hour ago. But how'd they get up there in the first place? You think they used a rope ladder like the one we found near the mortars? It's difficult to tell from this far away. Anyway, we'll need to go in from this entrance down here. Me and Lammy could fly up there no problem, but that doesn't help the rest of you out much. Well, you have a point, but... I'm not sure entering here is going to prove much easier for us. What do you propose we do about this huge stone door? It doesn't look like it's going to budge. Come on, get off your horses! Me and Lammy will take care of this door, no sweat! Oh? We ought to dismount anyway. Continue this inquiry at a later time. Let's get inside.
wins behind us. Let's go! My turn! It's my turn. There. My turn. Now. Here we go. Leave it to me. Over, but stay alert, everyone. Making progress. Just getting started. <laughs> I did it. What are those glowing things, anyway? I'm actually rather curious myself. Leave it to me. There. Now. Go. Yes, sir. There. No more chance. I'll help. Yeah. Arcus, activate. Come on. My turn. Should be safe now. How does that thing even work? We'll have to fight our way through. My turn. Flames, gamble on my blade. My turn. 
It's my turn. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Time is precious. We should hurry. Great! Oh, it's a treasure chest! Back in the great outdoors again. Ah, oh, it's a treasure chest. Leave it to me. Here I go! There! Yeah! Now! Go! All right! They're open! Here I go! There! Here we go! Okay! Arcus, activate! Alright! should be safe now. <laughs> A matter of course. Turn. Here I go. Now. It's my turn. There. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Here we go! 
It's my turn. Leave it to me. Yes, sir. Yeah, you didn't stand a chance. I don't know. We'd better exercise a little caution.
will never happen! Where you come from? Who are these kids? Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. And you're under arrest on suspicion of an unprovoked attack on both the Imperial Watchtower and Republican Army Base. How fitting, delegating your dirty work to these swine. But your contemptible scheme ends here. What was that? Swine! You kids are dead meat! Hmm. Ah, yes. That makes sense. You're the students responsible for interfering with our work in Celtic, aren't you? Wait, then... Th then the one who hired those bandits! <laughs> yes, it was I. Did you think the provincial army capable of competent planning and subterfuge? You may call me Gideon, though in some circles I'm known simply as G. That is perhaps as much as you may ever know. Some circles? <laughs> I trust that your bellicose ideals are not simply the ravings of a lone madman, then. Your name doesn't matter to me. If you intend to shatter the peace of this land, we'll stop you by any means necessary. Uh-huh. You're all coming with us. So you really think you could take us, huh? I don't know what the weird kid's doing with them. But bottom line, there just needs to be no witnesses. Ain't that right? Correct. It pains me to pull still budding flowers up by the roots, but they leave us little choice. I'm afraid you already know far too much to return alive. The soil of this ancient land will be watered with your blood before the day is done. Looks like they're serious, and we'll have to respond in kind. All right, let's give them a class seven thrashing. But remember, we need them disarmed and alive. I do apologize, but I'm afraid I can't let you live. Here we go. All right, let's do this! Leave it to me! My turn. My turn. Ha! 
They're only students. Oh. It's my turn. There. My turn. Leave it to me. My turn. My turn. Leave it to me. Go! Be calm. Yes, sir! It's my turn. It's my turn. Go! All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. My turn. It's my turn. They're open. Okay, it's safe for now. I'm just getting started. <laughs> I did it! No way! group of vets lose to a gang of kids still in the throes of puberty? Oh, I think I know who you are now. There's a mercenary group called Bugbear made of wannabe Jaeger dropouts. That's you guys, right? I guess you were planning to start calling yourselves a real Jaeger Corps after you pulled off this big job, huh? How do you know about us? Forget the students. What's up with this kid? Th that monster of hers. It's gonna kill us. Hey, don't you be calling Lammy a monster! Such meanies, aren't they, Lammy? They're not the only ones who've got some questions about her. I might have an idea, but let's see how this plays out. <laughs> I see now. You're one of the children, aren't you? The silver puppeteer, also known as the White Rabbit. Am I mistaken? Oh, <laughs> wow! You've heard of me? I certainly have. And if you're here, this is a chance I simply cannot miss. I'd be pleased to punch your ticket along with everyone else's for a one-way journey to the great beyond. A flute? What is that song? Above us, watch out! What? <gasps>
no! I think we're looking at the face of the djinn from the legends? Whatever it is, it seems like it's made this quarry its lair. <laughs> Quite a hardy specimen we have here. To have survived from the times of antiquity is no small feat. No doubt its long slumber has left it with a powerful hunger. Do be sure to give it a proper meal, would you? Farewell then. May your struggle be mercifully brief. run away? A grappling hook? Help us, please! I don't want to die! Help! Damn, there's no time to chase after him. We have more immediate problems. Right, and we can't just leave these soldiers to the mercy of this beast. Rube, prepare to engage. We need to stop that spider before it can harm anyone else. Turn. All right, let's do this. Ah, Leave me. turn.
take this! <laughs> Thank you very much. Come on! Turn. Yeah. It's my turn. My turn. Just getting started. <laughs> I did it! That should suffice.
precisely on time. Comrade G, you've done well. Comrade C, I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. <laughs> Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided, and neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. You have a point. We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. <laughs> That's the spirit. At least all's well that ends well, right? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvard. Though I can't say I was expecting the Intelligence Division to show up when they did. A jet black airship. Probably one of Reinford's latest models. The military uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> you really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. I'm impressed that you can tell I was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to this one time, two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know, then, where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Reinford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least, not in the official files. <laughs> Sounds like Reinford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to the settlement. What are you planning to do? Hmm... Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's alright. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl.
Thanks for on me someday. Perfect! You guys are the best!